Hello everyone. Today is uh well it is Friday. Um and it is my first day off. I'm going to enjoy it here in a little bit. Sunday is going to be really hot. Um and we do have planned Sunday, but we'll see um how well it goes. But uh we've got plans really for each I think we got plans for tonight, we've got plans for tomorrow night. And we've got plans for Sunday, so it's gonna be a it's gonna be a busy weekend, but it's gonna be a fun busy weekend before we go back to work. So I am definitely looking forward to it. In the meantime, oh, and I want to get a recap because I did a little bit on my tarot card deck last night. Um, before I jump into this, so um, for those that don't know yet, um, I was gonna say first off. I do have some more drinks that I am going to be um, doing videos on um, throughout my days off. I know there's some Sonic drinks I want to try. I don't know if there's any more Pepsi or Mountain Dew or Coke products that are coming out that are new uh, as of yet. But if I do find out, I will try them out. Um, uh, we do need some more cereal in the house. I'm going to check the uh, cereal aisle today and see if I see some new cereals that I may want to try. Um, also, I might check the candy aisle, see if there's some new candies out I may want to try. If you all want to leave suggestions in the comments, please feel free to do so, and I will give them a shot. Um, I will say uh, Jason Marthief Maynard, he tries the more exotic stuff than what I would try sometimes. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, if you like the more exotic stuff, I would suggest getting him, uh, definitely checking out his stuff. I check out more like the sodas and snack food, I guess. Um, he does too, but he, he'll try some of the more exotic stuff and that, uh, more exotic than what I would try. But there's that. So, uh, be sure to check him out. He's got a really cool, a really cool uh, thing going there. He's a good friend of mine, but he's got a really cool channel. And yeah, that's where I kind of got some of my ideas from. Also, uh, I have, I ordered, and I don't know if Jason did or not. I'll have to ask him tomorrow, uh, tomorrow night when I see him. But uh, basically there was a D, uh, raffle uh, that was going on on Funko. And... You, it was a $20 raffle, but they didn't charge you the $20 unless you were you were one of the names drawn. Well, I was one of the name lucky names that were drawn, so my $20 went out of my account. Um, Funko is going to be sending me a surprise Funko box. And I do know that they, from what I remember anyway, they said one of the Funkos will be autographed. Now... Uh, they did not say who was autographing it. They did not give any details into what was actually going to be in the box. So I have no idea what I'm getting. Even if they did tell me, I completely forgot by now on uh, any clues that they may have gave me. But all I know is it's a free box. or Well, $20 box. But um, I want to say it's up to five Funkos, but I might be wrong. I just know it was a package. There's definitely more than one in there. And I do know that one of them is autographed by a celebrity. But again, as to um, what the Funko is and what celebrity signed it, I have no idea. I won't know until it gets here. And uh, they should be sending me an email when it gets shipped out as to when it's going to get shipped out. I don't know that either. Um, Funko, if you know anything about Funko, Funko... A lot of times, especially if it's uh, pre-order stuff, you may not get it right away because it's pre-order. Uh, for example, um, I'm going to show, uh, in case y'all don't remember this, I'm going to show y'all. So, I got this Funko Pop uh, back in May, I believe. I want to say it was back in May, and it was ordered back in February. Um, these were custom, uh, customary Funkos, uh, limited time, limited edition, uh, because of the Super Bowl, the Super Bowl ad from Dunkin' Donuts. If you remember that, where they were wearing these orange suits and they came out and, uh, they were supporting Ben Affleck 
when he was trying to uh, seduce uh, J-Lo in that particular ad. So that was what these were kind of about. Well, I work for uh, Duke Manufacturing here in Sedalia where we make units for different stuff. So that's why I got one because I happened to work on the Dunkin' Donuts line. And I did customize mine a little bit further. I will show you. So if you look here on the hats, I put the Duke logo here. They didn't have that option. I put that on there. So that is me. But I want to keep the box and everything. So I will get him out of the box like that. But I still have the box fully intact and he's still in here. So he'll be perfectly fine. Uh, but yeah, so that did not come until May, and I ordered it back in February. And then the uh, Travis or the Jason Kelsey one that I ordered, which is also a pre-order, I ordered it back in February also, and it didn't come in until uh, June. So um, that's just the way Funko works. Sometimes you you probably won't get your stuff right away. So I don't really look to get that particular thing probably until august or september but um when it does get here when i know i'll let you all know and give you all a heads up but i think it's gonna be really cool so there's those videos to look out for and then i've got another package coming in today i'll probably order some more stuff online today at some point and of course i'm not gonna let you all know until the package gets here then i'll be like hey so i got a package as a bonus video so my bonus, I got a package video. <laughs> so, and um, I should probably put down somewhere in the description or whatever uh, my P.O. box in case anybody wants to send me shit, even though I don't think anybody, anybody will, but just in case. That uh, way I can, I can really open that up and do, hey, I got, a, I got a package video or I got a, a letter video. I'll take letters too. Letters are cool. Uh, pictures. If y'all want to send pictures or something like that, just so that way. And uh, just so you know, uh, if you do send me something like that and you want it, 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 you're sending it to me simply to get your word, your name out there, I'm more than happy to do so. Um, I will link your name and everything in, in the description. So, uh, yeah, um, I'll do anything I can do to, to help you all out as well. I'm all for that because... We are a community, so I will, I'll be more than happy to do that. Um, that way I can really, we can really build this channel together and, um, um, you know, uh, YouTube people helping out YouTube people or whatever. So there you go. But moving on. So the question of the day, what you all came here to see. Now that I'm eight minutes in, <laughs> I'll try to keep this part to five minutes though. So here we go. Question of the day. So, we are at, um, this is July the 12th. I already said it was a Friday. So, but it's July the 12th. Let's do this. Are you attracted to a person's physical appearance or personality? Without a shadow of a doubt, I'm going to say personality. That's what really attracted me to Angela more than looks. Um, I can say that because in the past, she definitely would not have been someone I would have been attracted to. In the past, when I was 18, 19 especially, I was more attracted to physical appearance than I was mental appearance. And don't get me wrong, physical appearance still... Me I mean, I... I will still look from time to time at eye candy. I'm not going to lie on that note. I feel like I need to be honest. But um, at the same token, I also know that it's only eye candy. And it's not going to go any further than, you know, what... You know, I know it's not going to go any further than that because I, I already appreciate what I have. So, if you, so, and personality, like I said, is what really 
attracted me to Angela because, and I'll to explain what I mean by that, um, the fact that she was into the same stuff that I was into automatically attracted me. So there was that, and uh, I automatically went into my own personality with her. I was not scared because I wanted to know if she could handle it. Um, so there was no hiding, there was no holding back, so to speak. I was myself 100%, um, in that I was extremely ornery and, you know, shown her that I was ornery and I love to tell jokes and I'm spontaneous and I get mad, you know, sometimes when I get angry, I get angry, but I try to keep it, you know, try to keep it down. But basically, I just wore my feelings right on my sleeve, and it seemed to work. So I know that she can handle my ornery side, and she's just as ornery as I am, which, again, is another big attraction. Um, a lot of times she, uh, I don't know, I uh, <laughs> lost train of thought. <laughs> but no, uh she doesn't like it when I get angry. I know that. I don't like it when I get angry either. But like I said, I have... She has taught me how to kind of keep my my person out of my emotions in check, which is a good thing. And, uh, which, and another thing that I find very attractive. Um, what else? Uh, that's... I mean that's pretty much it in a nutshell. That and then of course uh, she crack she she makes me laugh, um, which I, I, is another attraction. She likes the same kind of foods that I do. She gets hungry about the same time when I do. So hey, food's a big thing too. Um, we both cook, so there's that, which is another attraction. Uh, she doesn't cook as often as I do, but it's it's okay. She kind of grew up with uh, a a dad that that cooked most of the time, so I can't hold that against her. <laughs> but yeah, uh, she can cook too, so that's a big attraction. Um, she seems to like a lot of the same music that I like, so that's a big attraction also. Although I'm kind of teaching her on some of the other types of music, but we're getting there. <laughs> I was more into rock than she was, but I do like pop too, so there's that. Um, which she's trying to, I'm trying to get her more into some of the rock music, and she's trying to get me more into in sync. Um, so there's that. <laughs> there's that. Um, but that was to be expected. Uh, but yeah, um, to follow up and just answer all that in a quick thing. Um, yeah, it, I was definitely more attracted, especially this go around. I was more attracted on personality than I was physical attraction. Um, because like I said, in, in the past, back when I was younger, younger and dumber, I would say, I probably would not have dated her. I probably would have passed her off and, and went on my merry way. But... Now that I am older and wiser, I know that's not the thing to do, and you can't judge a book by its cover. And I know I've know because I know a lot of women out there that are extremely attractive, but at the same time are complete jerks. So, do I want to date them? No, absolutely not. And I also, in that regard too, I know some of them that aren't necessarily jerks. But they still would never date someone like me because of my physical appearance. So there's that. They they believe that since they're attractive, they should date attractive people. But anyway, that is all I have for you guys today on this video. I hope you all enjoyed it. I Yes, I am attracted more to personality. And I can say that 100%. Uh, I'm more attracted to that than I am the physical appearance. So, Alright, I will let you all go. You all have a good one. Peace out. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you all on the next video. Probably again sometime today. Bye.